Hi. So we all know that when we, whenever we publish our uh, report from desktop, two things will be moved to Power BI service. One is the semantic model, and the another one is the report itself. Now, what actually semantic model and what actually it contains? Let's see that today. Now, to see what actually semantic model contains, you have to go to your model view. So in the model view, there are two options here under the data. One is tables, which contains our table information. And the second one is model. Now, this is what actually goes to your Power BI service. Now, let's see what it all contains. It's not just about tables. There are a lot of other things which are part of this particular model. First thing, obviously, is your table, the table, the table structure, all this will be part of your semantic model. Second one, all the roles that you have created, then all the relationships that you have between various tables and all the measures that you have created. And also there are other things also like calculation group and cultures that also will go into Power BI service. That's how you will be able to modify your report add additional visuals and do everything that you can do with Power BI in Power BI service because all this data is present as part of semantic model in Power BI service. I hope this gives you a very good information in understanding what semantic model is and what actually it contains. For such cool tips and tricks, do follow me subscribe to my channel and if you are interested to learn more about power bi do register for my free power bi workshop thank you so much for watching see you bye bye